Hopefully not before we meet, though. That would suck. Yes, that would be fun. <laughs> well, I could always, like, animate your corpse as a zombie. Oh, hey, right. hey, Jimmy, want to go out tonight? Blurg. <laughs> zombie. What the hell is that sound? What sound? It's gotta be something in game. Don't do that to me, man. I have no idea what the fuck's going on right now. What sound are you hearing? I don't know. Howdy, partner! Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town not be able to help you out with that. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Happy trails! Alright, Victor. I like Victor. I like Victor, too. Rick is cool. What did you just do? I killed Victor. No! Why? <laughs> He told us the information we needed. But I liked him. I know. Did you actually hear a noise or were you just trying to trip me out? I heard a noise, but I don't know where it was coming from. Oh, well, because I like, took my headphones off to see if it was me or... Don't do that when I'm high, man. Well, I heard something. I had to comment on it. What you heard was the sound of the ghosts orgasming. Yes, we will progress through good springs. <clears throat> and your duty. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Not in good springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. Oh. Well, go ahead and keep the stuff I gave you anyway. It'll be more useful to you than me. Yeah. I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Okay. We'll do that. First things first. Huh. Gotta steal fixing things. this, though. Gotta steal us some whiskey and scotch. You know what? This guy's annoying me. He's a potential witness to everything I ever do. Who is? The corpse. Who was that? Just random guy sitting at the bar. Oh, okay. If it was easy, Peter, I'd have to kill you. Understood. Well, we had to consume him. I gotta steal shit out of the cash register. Take your revolver. Steal all your booze, definitely. I 
Okay, I think we're ready to meet Sunny outside the saloon. I like the saloon. You need to buy some. While we're at it, yeah, let's see here. Ooh. Why are you not drunk? Let's have a beer Why and are you wash it down yet? with some wine, whiskey, and vodka. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're feeling that, huh? <laughs> All right, we're drunk. Good? Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. <laughs> what? Without training wheels? That's the right idea. Look down the sight. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. Yes, I... I gotta go chase geckos away from my water supply anyway. Darn critters oh, are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? But wait, wait a minute. Hmm. That's exactly why I came to see her to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Because mm. sarsaparilla bottles, Jim, are the enemy. They're the enemy. These are our they... friends. Geckos. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Okay, sure, we'll do that. Uh, let's see here. Murder uh, Avenue. Six. Six. What? One, two. Murder Avenue. Look at me, baby. And I'll fuck you with Is that something eye. you invented, or is that something that someone else invented? I think I personally invented it, and someone else... Uh, because I sing I it all the time. I something else. Six, a one, a two... A murder avenue. Six, one, two, murder avenue. Well, maybe you shouldn't be hanging out in a place called Skin Street. Skin Street. Mm. Oh, Sounds skin like the labia I just got to suckle on. Oh, actually, it's where they skin you alive. No, oh, but I want the labia nice and flappy. But all the street lamps are, have human skin covering. That's Made from labias, metal. which you lick. Why don't Tasty. you lick it? Tasty labia. Cheyenne! Hi, There's Cheyenne. There's a puppy here. She don't like some. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos that clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Okay, we can try that. I can hear them. And I got a spear. They're mean little monsters. Okay, you're on. That's a very desert sound that the geckos make. Creepy. Yes, I know about vats. I don't know about vats. We're just throwing spears at them. Hey, would you like to say hi? Yes. Would you like a like spear in the head? No. I was hired to execute you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm giving you the choice how you die. <coughs> Not really. See? We're getting the hang of it. <clears throat> There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Shouldn't take we more like than a couple money. minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. It is a hard scowl. Right, it's a hard scowl past or world, and you gotta do whatever you gotta do, or something like that. You know, post-apocalyptic worlds are awesome when you're stoned, and I'm sure you know that. Yes, I know. <laughs> I mean, these are only radiated evil mutant monsters. And they're very cuddly. They're each getting a spear through the skull. Spear through the skull. Spear through the skull. You're gonna get a spear through your skull. Ah. You gotta come out here and get high just once. Don't just kill that bitch. Old, just for old times. Point blank, just shoving a spear into their head and leaving it there. Uh, 
What was that noise? Well, that's the end of that. Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you'd done, I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. We're accepted. Thank you. Where are you going, Sonny? Here? Okay. <laughs> now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Okay. All right, then. Living. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Wait. Now, let me think now. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Okay. Wait. How did he learn to live this long in the in the desert if he didn't know how to live off the land? Or does she assume, like, brain damage from, you know, being shot in the head? She was or shot she. in the head, yes. Yes, sorry. I'm still saying that Jesus fuck. I was hungry. This is how we live off the land. <laughs> <laughs> Diana will be very proud that you turned her into a cannibal. Yeah. Oh, I don't need a cleaver. You can keep your clothes. Oh, you can't use the cleaver? Actually, no, I'll take it because I could sell it. I need money. That sucks. They just let you use the cleaver. I like bludgeoning. I, I like meat cleavers. I have one know, spear left. I got a problem with meat cleavers, Jim. It's when they, they get out of the person. You can't cleave them right. I know, right? It just sucks hate. from that the point hooks, on. Your meat hooks when they slide out of a person while you're trying to drag them. You gotta. Let me see you what gotta, you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go. Okay, fine. Make healing Don't powder. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, the meat hooks. Yeah, so hey, that's they not get stuck bad, inside. see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. <laughs> Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Okay. We'll poke our head in to a cunt and say hi. Yes. <laughs> We're just going to jam our whole entire head up her pussy and just ram it in and out. <laughs> Hello? Can you help me? I could pay you. I'll give you whatever you want. Just hurry. My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please, she's going to die. Bastard. You're just like everyone else around here. <laughs> Is that a compliment? Thank you, I am a bastard. <laughs> we got a good meal. Hamburger Helper makes a great meal. <laughs> but you're saying Hamburger Helper's pud? Whoa. Ooh. Yeah, something hit the floor. It was great. I like when you do the 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 the, I, the geckos in the church, or whatever they were, and you uh, you burn them. <laughs> and fire just makes them multiply. The eggs hatched. Holy it was shit! It was horrible, and the noise was amazing. That's I great. Heard, yeah, I was, it was fixing amazing. things. And stuff. What? I was fixing things and stuff. Are you still hearing that noise? No. It went away for whatever reason. Oh, okay. Good. I have all the map markers. Good. A ball of AIDS. A ball of AIDS. We need a ball of AIDS every now and then. 
<laughs> I like how you're staying right with me. This, I think, shows the uh, degradation of your... Wait, you can't degrade your mind. But it definitely shows you are insane. I'm done being yeah. nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, what do you want? Hey, don't. Hi. <laughs> what was that you said about Ringo? That's He's some traitor who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. He's hiding somewhere in town. Would serve these idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback on Ringo. Hmm. Should we help or kill? Uh, I don't like his tongue. Or what do you think? Okay, fine. We'll kill. Yeah. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Hello, Prospector Saloon. Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Shit. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. An abandoned gas station? You mean murder station? him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. But murder is my way. <laughs> All right. Be careful out there. I won't be. Murder. Murder's our way. Murder is totally our way. That was your problem. You are so fucked. You just disintegrated Joe Cobb. A laser gun. Oh, that's... That's why it sounded weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> why? Because it, it sounded like the world exploding. And... I wanted to know if that was the drugs or not. It was certainly not the drugs. Okay. Wait, the world exploded? The world was melting. I killed the guy as soon as I walked out of the bar. It's like, hi. <laughs> you won't murder him? I will. Oh, remember, fuck Bobo and fuck you. Who the fuck? I don't like any of you. I have a meat cleaver. That's close enough. Who are you? And what do you want with me? Take it easy, buddy. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? We killed Joe Cobb. Well, uh, thanks, I guess. Cobb wasn't the problem, though. I could have handled him if he ever found me. Cobb's friends are the bigger problem. And when he doesn't get back, they'll be coming here for blood. There's no way I could fight them all. Mm. I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... I'll ask around, because you're a putt. <sighs> Start you with Sunny wanna... Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. You know you're going to die. You should pay your toll, asshole. Well, we killed the guy he could have paid the toll to. I don't Because he just walked yes, out of the I, bar. I we'll know, make him pay a, the toll to us. I know, he is an ass, but, you know, he should have also paid his toll. So, you all deserve to die, is what I'm saying. The whole town deserves to die. Oh, not the whole town. <laughs> Maybe the whole town. Maybe the whole town. I don't know. Just 
do things, do fun things. We can eat corpses. Oh yeah, the stealth boy, I'll take that. I like poop. <laughs> right, where the fuck hello. is Sunny? Oh, hello, Easy P. Hello. Where the fuck is Sunny Smiles? Why isn't she here? Why? Is why she still is freaking it? out because I killed that bitch? Maybe. <clears throat> you walked Maybe the whole way down here. Why are you down here? What are you doing here? <laughs> I don't think Joe Cobb knew what hit him. I'm hoping you took him down for a good reason and not for fun. It was for fun. Oh. <laughs> Say no more. I'm in. So. <laughs> But it was for fun. We might die horribly. Well, maybe not me. That's inspiring. You may want to keep your optimism to yourself if you try to recruit anyone else. Even though <laughs> Joe Cobb's dead, his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. All right, we'll get on this. Please don't I'll be skip waiting. any audio. I, I do I, skip I some audio. I really okay. like this story, and I want to hear it. Okay, fine. So some of it's just like, oh god, this is more tutorial bullshit. I know, I know. We killed Joe Cobb though before we even let him talk to us. So yeah, what did she think we killed him for? For fun. <laughs> oh, you're still looking at my bed? Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? <laughs> Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce, but I'll give you what I can spare. They use Boom Boom. Thanks, he ain't dude. got much, but it'll do you more good out there than it will in here. Take what I got. Good. You take care now. This Doc Mitchell awesome or what? And he's right. He folks just don't know how to get along. Yeah. It's really sad. Sometimes, but it's also <laughs> people just don't get along. Yeah, I didn't get along with that Joe Cobb guy, so I shot him 15 times right in front of the door. <laughs> I think he just start killing you then. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Give it to me or you will die. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. You are such a coward. And I don't like cowards. Can do. Yes, I don't like cowards either. But I let's really see here. I'm going to sell like you the leather armor you just gave me right back. <laughs> That's funny. It's like, you need this for... Wait, what? <laughs> I didn't want that. Everyone else will need it, though. Oh, well. They'll be fine. We're Superwoman. I got a silent buyer. I'm selling them all my shit. <laughs> Actually, this is all Doc Mitchell's shit I stole from his house. You should eat sauteed rubber gloves, too. Wait, 
This is like everything that Doc Mitchell owns. <laughs> Shut up, just buy it. <laughs> How much caps will we get? Oh, it was mostly miscellaneous items, so, you know, not much. But still. It's the thought that counts. We, we just sold everything Doc Mitchell owns. <laughs> and he we, let us steal it. <laughs> no, we have to eat the blood pack. That's a must. Do you have we anything even get I wish drunk to again. There, we got 500 Another caps. Another satisfied customer. We got 500 caps for everything out of Doc Mitchell's house. Take it easy now. <laughs> Thanks, man. You'll die, Chet. Someday. Hey. Howdy. Hey, Too dangerous. Easy, Pete. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Uh-huh. Guess you know what you're doing. I'll go dig it up and get it ready. You'll have it by the time the fighting starts. Thanks for the explosives. Bad trouble. I like it. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yup. <laughs> As he sits by the ash pallet was once. The fucking powder ganger. Don't kill Easy Pete, damn hey. it. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. <laughs> you can set up an ambush, you know. That does sound like a good plan. All right, you seem to know what you're doing, so you can count me in. <laughs> Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Oh, I already talked to him. He, he, he's on board. I threatened to murder his family. Be careful out there. Wait, we know what we're doing? I don't even know who you are. Anything we know what we're doing? I need Who a different weapon for this. What 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 weapon you use? God, I've given up on the English language. I think I'll use the 357 revolver. Ding 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 ding. I forgot these guys use explosives and they can kill people we actually care about. Aww. That's yeah, but that's a good point. That's why Easy Pete was probably right. We'll probably blow ourselves up with dynamite. I want to blow myself up. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Yeah. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. It's right, time to... I'm ready. I hope. To jack off the horse. Time to look alive. The powder gangers are here to play. I want to play. Oh, Easy Pete came through with the dynamite. Here's your supply. I really hope I don't blow myself up. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Okay. We'll do that. We're going to defend the town from something we caused. Sort yeah. Of. We caused this. <laughs> I mean, they would have anyway, but why we also caused it. We accelerated the timetable by disintegrating their leader. So if the town gets destroyed, it's our fault, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Sir! Sir, did I say you could shoot me? Did yes. I say you could shoot me? Die! Oh. You're missing a head. <laughs> Fuck you, I'll let the meat cleaver. Yeah. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. 
Nice, you you just gave me your company's money. It's all I've all got right. with me. But if you look me up at the Crimson Caravan's main camp in New Vegas, I'll pay you in full. Okay, we can do that. Let's take all dynamite and ammunition off these guys. Jesus fuck would rather have killed them than get paid in full, which is interesting considering how much money he spent. I know. But he's also a sub brick. That's quite possible he didn't understand the concept of money. Probably. <laughs> or anything else for that matter. Apocalypse. Apocalypse. Wow. Give me your vermin rifle. Oh yeah, this guy was already looted. Okay. Have you ever on weed like thought, hey, I think I'm actually sober right now, and then the room starts spinning again? That's fun. I hope you, you didn't just bring it. a heap of trouble down on Good Springs by killing Joe Cobb like that. His friends um, might come looking for him, and I don't think what? they're going to care who was involved in his death or not. Huh? Well, what's done is done. So, uh, what can I do for you? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> we just murdered his gang. <laughs> Good riddance to it is all I have to say. Never liked having that around. Oh, uh, she didn't like Victor. But I like Victor. Be careful out there. Victor's my friend. I'm glad that business is over. I like it when Good Springs is nice <laughs> and quiet. <laughs> Wait. Oh, yeah, all right. We did just kill the gang. I don't need the bitch about that anymore. Got a special discount for you after what you've done for us. Okay. Uh, what can I put on you? I, I like discounts. Mm-hmm. Discounts are fun. Yes, discounts are fun. Uh -huh. I'm so Jim, you need to buy a five eighty six Pontiac Firebird with the Ferrari Be body kit out on. there. Hey. Because that ought to keep things awesome. settled for a while. Hope it stays that way. Me too. The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. I think, yeah. The machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something. But I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. <laughs> oh, I kind of killed the machine. Yep. Jim. Hey. He's describing you. Thanks again for all your help. Yeah. He's describing me. A broken down relic with no place to be? Hey. Yeah, I know. That'll teach the powder gangs to avoid good springs in the future. We did a thing. Until next time. We, we did a thing. I like easy Pete. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because he just takes it easy. He just takes it easy. Yep. Let's see what Doc Mitchell has to say about the whole situation. Okay. Hi, Doc Mitchell. Doc, <coughs> Doc, where are you? There you are. How are you holding up? Huh. Okay. You have nothing to say. I didn't see him or the men with him. You might ask around town, though. Could be someone saw which way they was headed. Your best bet would probably be Trudy, the bartender at the saloon up the road. If anyone saw anything, she'd know about it. Someone would know about it? You take care now. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. See how little I care. Oh, I like Doc Mitchell. Oh, Doc Mitchell's awesome. Oh, we're leaving town now. We're leaving town. Don't kill anyone. Just leave. I am. I am just leaving. <laughs> I have to remind people. Don't kill it. No, no, no. Don't. But I want to. In oh, Fallout wait. I forgot I could do that. In Fallout 3... 
we killed the only good town in the whole game. The only interesting town in the whole game. It was really sad, but we had to. Yes. You can't expect, I mean, what do you expect? A nuke to be in the center of town and me not to detonate it? Jesus Christ. I know, right? Oh, I like Fallout Stone. We just repaired a hat with a pair of glasses. <laughs> with duct tape. Duct tape. That's right, we're doing it all with duct tape. Mm -hmm. Big That's trouble. what I think. Big trouble, yep. Duck, duck, in the future, any problem will be fixed with duct tape. That's that's what I think. Every problem will be fixed with duct tape. I know, right? You ever taped a duck? I don't know. <laughs> Tape the duck. I want to take the armor from this ash pile. You ever taped the armor set? <laughs> hey, Let's go talk to Trudy here. Hey, oh, oh, I gotta take clothes off this corpse too. Oh, he had leather armor on. Awesome. Wait, they put armor on the corpse. <laughs> they had normal clothes on first. We killed him. <laughs> they're like, okay, let's get him ready for battle. Well, they put armor on, leather armor on his corpse. <laughs> you gotta protect the corpse, Jim. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Maybe he wants a zombie. He doesn't want a bullet hole rid riddled corpse. <laughs> That's awesome. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. Yeah, I actually am feeling thirsty. Got a special discount for you after what you've done for us. You better have. We'll just take everything. I'm selling things. Oh, good. Fuck you. Fuck you. Uh, you can have that and that. That. A random cowboy hat. Uh, <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Oh, God. What can I have? I got something. Nothing good. Okay, we're good then. We'll just take the 34 caps off. Jim is a door. Another satisfied Jim customer. Is Jim is a door. Be careful out there. Fisto Ooh. reporting for duty. That was a hell of a fight. Let's hope it doesn't bite us in the ass later on. Take it easy now. You coward fuck. This has been a good day for us. It's been a good day for us. We have six bolts left for the 357 Magnum. I did not oh, feel like buying any more ammo. Six bullets. She you know, didn't feel like buying anymore. No, I could have done that with Chet. Fuck, I forgot. I could sell things to him, so I took all Trudy's money. I also try to take more of Chet's. I got more expensive things to sell him. You got more expensive things to sell. I'm sorry, that uh, conversation was too You looking to buy some supplies? Can do. That thought was too complicated. Everything's too complicated for you. Ev not everything. Like, the universe isn't complicated. I can tell you the meaning of life. And what God's address is. Look 
keep the damn cram, god damn it. You can't have any. And the jalapeno peppers. You have fucking fruit. I don't care about fruit. We don't need the salesman weekly. In fact, we Everyone's need none of that. Everyone's walking in the raid. Everyone's eating my brains. No, we keep the sugar bombs, motherfucker. The sugar oh, bombs. Oh, yeah. We always keep the sugar bombs, man. I'll sell you a Xander root for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you I just have want it out of my inventory. You can have this locksmith's reader, too. And I'm fixing things. I don't need that. You have to keep the sugar bombs. Or else... There, I sold you even more leather armor. Another satisfied customer. That you probably gave to some chick to some dude to protect himself after he was already dead. Take it easy now. And consumed. Consume. Why is the only music that exists 200 years from now country music and fucking Vegas Lodge music? Because. They're telling me Slayer got destroyed. That's not a world I want to live in. Look, I'm just carrying the corpse over here so people don't see me eat it. Okay? I thought you were carrying it over there to make Mads mad love to it. Maybe. I mean, she's got the proper plumbing for that. And maybe he died with a stiffy. And now it's in rigor. <laughs> stiffy McCabe. I would play Fallout. I would play a Fallout game as Stiffy McCain. Mm. Tasty. Nobody can see me eat your corpse. I see you, Jim. I see you, Jim. I have to kick the tumbleweed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to kick the tumbleweed. It's imperative that you kick the tumbleweed. Oh yeah, there was that random bitch over here. I wonder if she's still dead here. That'd be nice <laughs> if she was. Maybe she's a zombie. What if they have zombies in the future? In the future, there will be robots. And the manatee. <laughs> Slowly dying. I love that fucking pretentious asshole. I know. <laughs> so much expression and autism. The. I'm just gonna bring her corpse with me for a little while. <laughs> Here, meet my friend. I told you about the game I I completed where. Uh, Holding a woman's severed head. Just walking around, just going about my day with a bloody head in my head. Head. Yeah. People just. I think I won because I terrified everyone. We can't kill her. She's fucking evil, man. It's time to cleanse the prison. She's wearing. She's, she's holding a severed head like it's nothing. <sighs> Or is carrying the corpse of this random chick that said, Thank you for saving me. The naked corpse of this chick. Naked, screaming, covered in blood. Hey, how's it going, guys? I'm going to... Uh, I'm a maniac on drugs. I'm a maniac on drugs. I'm a maniac. Chlamydia on drugs? <laughs> I don't know. Chlamydia on drugs. I want to hear a chainsaw, god damn it. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? You like corpses? Had enough? Here's a corpse for you. <laughs> Fine, you're gonna fucking play that game? I'll fucking kill you. I'm jumping down. Welcome to the corpse. Welcome to the corpse factory. Fuck you. Don't shoot me. I'll... Fucking shit. You know what? Fuck you. Uh-oh.
No, then. Give me your shit. <laughs> I like the anger. <laughs> She's so pissed off she had to eat them. <laughs> it wasn't because she was hungry at all. She just had to consume their flesh. <laughs> She's driven by a primal hatred. Primal hatred of powder gangers. Now guys, don't try this at home. We're professional idiots. Indeed. Good, let's see. I'll take it all. I don't care. Have to repair that. I'm gonna use a 22 silenced pistol to repair a 9 millimeter submachine gun. That makes <coughs> perfect sense, dude. That like, it makes so much. Well, sense. It makes more sense to use a 9 millimeter pistol to do it. Yes, I know, but I'm high, so everything makes sense because everything makes no sense. I got four bolts left for this gun. Nothing is real. Nothing is unreal. I want to hear some fire explosives or... Fine, you want explosives? You've got explosives. I have dynamite. Well, do you think I care about these powder gangers in the slightest? <laughs> Maniac on drugs. This is a maniac on drugs. Hey, look, there's one there. Hey, guys, how's it going? Let's see if I can sneak up on him. Then hurl a stick of dynamite at him. Surprise him. I was like, what the fuck? Oh my god, it's lit. Bam! <laughs> I'm in light armor. Nothing you could do. That was nothing you could say. Who runs the fuck? Oh, let's see. More shit, more shit, more dynamite. I'll take that. You could run. That was funny, Jim. <sighs> oh, you have a today's physician. Okay. Oh, look, there's someone else here. Hey, guys. How about a stick of dynamite? Oh, God. I blew myself up! <laughs> Fuck you! You made me blow oh, myself up! And everybody's dying. Everybody's dead. Now I gotta heal myself. Fuck you. Oh, you got injured? Yeah, because I blew myself up. It got stuck on the door. <laughs> I mean, maybe he was right, but hey, you know. Exploded. Oh, that corpse has been here for a while. Okay. <laughs> you just ate a unidentifiably aged corpse. Yes. Cause why not? Indeed. And this corpse was 
probably a rape victim. She's naked. <laughs> this was part of Ringo's caravan here. I'm sure he wants the caravan in my stomach. <laughs> By the way, I ate one of your friends. I wonder if I can repair leather armor with this. That'd be fun. I ate one of your friends. Yeah, I ate one of your friends. The one that died in the raid? Yeah. Welcome to Crimson Caravan. I'll take Oops. everything you own. I don't like it when I die in a raid. Yes, I can. Cool. Yes, well, I could just can. use random clothing to repair heavy armor. That bodes well for me. I once used your blood to repair a toxic sewage dump. Yes, my blood should repair a toxic sewage dump. Now then. I'm gonna sneak on down here, see if I can find myself some powder game. That'd be fun. Powder game. Grim fucking Reaper. The Grim fucking Reaper. I'm the powder ganger, fucking Grim fucking Reaper, motherfucker. Grim fucking Reaper. You decided it so. Cause you was stupid, and I was smart. And you you are not. You are the dumb. See if I can fucking sneak up on you here. That'd be fun. We are the gore. I am the god. You are the dumb. There we go. Just a little bit closer. Now I can throw a fucking stick of dynamite at you. <laughs> Is it true that you ate your own? Hey! Hey, what? <laughs> yeah, really. Hey, you're dead. Do, 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 you're dead. Aw, it crashed. That's okay, I could fix that. Oh man. I hate when stuff does stuff. I don't care about that. What are you doing? Close. I don't want a fucking update. God damn, that's why it crashed. I had a Steam update. Fuck Steam. Play anyway. I don't care. Goddamn useless sacks of shit. Fortunately, I saved recently, but damn. That's... You know, I, I can't, I mean, there are a lot of advantages to, you know, game systems on the internet, but when you had PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2, you didn't have these problems, you know? Yeah, I know. It's like, maybe there was a mistake. Well, it's also a Bethesda game. They're known to crash. They crash a lot. Okay. Crashing Let's is my business, and business guy. is good. Crashing. I am Satan. I am Satan. Satan is who I am. Sir. Sir. Have you heard the word of our Lord? This mighty stick of dynamite. They exploded. Yep. Exploded. Your friends are blowing up around you. What are you going to do? Shit my pants. That's what I'm going to do. I got to shit my pants. I didn't get them. 
That's okay. Did he shoot, I could still sneak did up he shoot on. his pants? Oh, he's carrying a pole cue. I have a stick of dynamite for you. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and now you're dead. Come on, really? No, here's a piece of a powder ganger. <laughs> you're just gonna eat a piece. I'm gonna take some flesh for me, yeah. <laughs> He welcomed his own death, apparently. I'll take all your shit, sure. Rip off a piece of your corpse. You should oh, there's a severed head by my ass. You should always welcome your own death. Yes. Because you will pull He had a pack of cigarettes. I like him. He would, he'll be a tasty meal. I don't want a fucking damaged garden gnome. Give me your explosives. I don't want your fucking coffee mug. God damn it. What? These people are being stupid again. They were giving me shit I didn't want for things I don't need. And I just sneaked I down the fucking pipeline here. What is that noise? The voices. They commanded. We're going to have to obey. I thought I heard breathing. That's kind of what it was. What was it? It was a piece of ambient track. All right, what do we have here? Uh, Sure, let's use the 9mm pistol. As we enter the prison. But we cannot kill Myers. He is our sheriff of legend. Your snipers cannot see me. As our chick's tits flap in the wind. <laughs> Oh, God, thank you. I was having visions of uh, mouths, endless mouths coming out of the walls. Good. <laughs> now you have mouths and tits. And mouths coming out of the floor and the ceiling. All with one breath. All with one word. Poop! The town no longer exists, but we still think it does. Fine, we'll play it this way! Fucking shoot me, I'll teach you. Who's shooting me? You die. You like that? Yes, I like it. I like your corpses. You think I care about your existence? That's right. Your body can fly up in the air now. now where was oh. I? Not enough. Where were no. you? Let me eat my meal in peace. All right, that's it. Oh, you survived. Here, I got a gift for you then. The, the gift of dynamite or pistols or whatever? I just hit him with a baseball bat. Fuck your corpse. Now, where was I with my eating? <laughs> I interrupted my dinner. <sighs> I have dinner to have here. 
Alright, heal my hit points. Shit. Oh, I see a little red mark here. Do you hear the music? Yes, now I do. Because I do. Why is there a dragon in this game? Because I am Batman. I am a dragon. By the way, I'm a dragon. Sheriff Myers approves of our cannibalism. Apparently, he's just <laughs> going, well... Hey, she just right, murdered yeah. everyone here. <laughs> just seems like one of those kinds of days, you know. I approve of your cannibalism. We're going to use a tire iron to repair her meat cleaver. That makes perfect sense. Hit him over the head, Bob. What the fuck's Bob? Why the fuck are you not yourself? We're going to use a pull cue to repair a baseball bat. Whoa. It's, it's, it's called... It's called magic. It's called seeing is not believing. Here you go, kind sir. I hope you enjoy my gift for the cause. I hope you enjoy my gift of my ass. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm crippled. I was too close to that, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like about explosives. You have a high chance of dying. I know, right? Everybody do the poop. Everybody do the poop. Now, where was I? <laughs> enjoying, a, enjoying a light snack. Yes. And I ate my fire today. Knife. Nice. Someone just did a thing. I know. We're gonna repair a police baton with a knife. That makes sense. That, uh, I mean, no, it doesn't actually make any sense, but it makes sense. I'm gonna interview the world. And ask it why it doesn't have any coke. Why doesn't it have any coke? <laughs> oh, yeah. Fucking condense my clothing too. Um, what the hell we got here? Wow! I can hear noises in the background. Someone's feasting on corpses. Well, of course, we have to do that constantly. If you don't feast on corpses, then you can you have a fucking baseball and a fork. Keeping the damn cigarettes, though. Do you figure out a poop on baseball? No, then. Where was I? Yeah, exactly. We're now in the prison. Oh good, we found a powder ganger over here. Don't turn around, dude. You don't need to see me. That's him in the balls the baseball bat. And he died? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta oh. love it when that happens. Imagine the pain. 
Imagine the pain of being hit in the balls so hard that you die. I know, that had to be painful. I and don't want to imagine that pain. Hello, kind sir. Would you like to also be hit in the balls? No! I hit him so hard in the balls, his head and his leg fell off. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's how you That's... hit someone in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> that's gotta be like, oh my god, that last second of life, that's gotta be pain. It's just pure agony. Oh, man. That doesn't sound fun at all. That sounds quite painful. <laughs> I love it. all my empty ammo cases, but I'm keeping the damn cigarettes. You're not permitted to have cigarettes in this prison. Because you I are am. the worst prisoners ever. Now I'm going to use my baseball bat to try to hit someone else in the balls. How does that sound? <laughs> Sir? Talking you're up here in a guard tower. In the balls. You didn't bother shooting me. Is this like, you, you know, like the, uh, the old western, they used to like hit people with stuff or whatever? Yeah. You know, like the the guy that goes around town hitting people with stuff. This is the girl who goes about the Old West hitting men in the balls with a baseball bat. Until, until their heads fall off. <laughs> yeah. The mysterious stranger. That's right. I am the mysterious stranger. Now, who wants some? Oh, there's one over there still. <laughs> I want to get yeah, the one up here in this guard tower. This is my new show. The death show. <laughs> she just goes around. And... That's all she does. <clears throat> oh, hi! Another happy, satisfied customer was hitting the balls today. <laughs> <laughs> I think Diana will uh, appreciate that. She'll probably get ideas. For fuck's sake. Yes. Oh, the cringe, the cringe, the fucking cringe. I am Sorry. quite the collection of varmint rifles. Oh, I just had flashbacks to that post I told you about earlier. It's so funny. I gotta beat up hippies, beat up hippies, beat up hippies tonight. Wait, but that must have been... Okay, we're done with that. I'm gonna use a tire iron now. Maybe I did. Uh... Who wants some? Who thinks they're man enough? Take on this naked chick. Well, almost naked chick. I mean, she's kind of lacking made... any modesty here. I'm I'm now beginning to doubt my own uh, sanity. I mean, there's no one up here. There should be someone in this guard tower. Fuck you. Kill the next powder ganger I see because of this. Not that I wasn't going to kill him anyway, but now I have a purpose to. He's just sitting there at a table, surrounded by his half eaten friends. Sir! Sir! Have you heard the word of our Lord? Jesus, fuck. Oh, right, I hit him so hard in the head. Both his arms and legs fell off. Along with his head. I don't think we're getting Cass as a companion. Ooh, we got a switchblade now. I'll take that. 
Now then. What's in hall number one? Cell block A. Hi, welcome to cell block A. You just lean against that wall. As I hit in the ball to the tire iron so hard you die. And rip off a chunk of your flesh to consume it later. Straight from your ass. I'm ripping off your ass cheeks to eat them later. <sighs> Oh Apparently my god, the beer's worn off. Huh, I didn't realize I was on song beings for a full year. Jesus Christ. I know you don't know what that means, but I was looking at my old blog. Back when I didn't believe in capitalization. We gotta drink some more whiskey, vodka. We have scotch. Yes, we have scotch. You'll notice we chase I'm down the whiskey and vodka with scotch. Awesome. You notice on Discord I type all proper and shit with capitalizations. Yeah. That's because I wanted to like make a good impression, and then I realized that other people type worse than I did, so it was whatever. Oh, someone's in here. Okay. Oh, I'm you're sleeping. To... Do I have that perk? Yes, you're asleep. I'm going to slit your throat now. Oh my god. Really? Then I'm gonna rip off a ch chunk. Of, I'm gonna rip off your cock and balls, so I can eat them later. You just slit someone's throat. Yeah, and then I ripped off their cock and balls to eat later. Oh my god! <laughs> and this then I take brutal. everything from his body. He has a hockey mask. This is so. Yeah, I wanted to make a good impression. Good impression. Slitting someone's throat. I'm gonna wear a hockey mask now. What about a monkey man? The monkey man has arrived. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this. This would be hilarious if I could pull this off. It'll be hilarious regardless. Because everything's hilarious. Don't you see it? You don't. Sir! There, I, hit it. I ripped off his legs with a tire iron. Ow. Tearing off a chunk of human flesh. This is normal for me. What did you do? I just killed another powder ganger. Awesome. Oh, someone's sleeping in here. Hi, do you like your bedtime? I hope yes. you do. Do you like your face? It doesn't That's matter. His throat was slit. <laughs> That's such an innocent noise, too. I know. Or is that the weed? That is the noise. It's a link. Every time you slit someone's That's throat. A, that is such an, that is such an while innocent noise. While they sleep. Oh, God, I got the cell block D key now. God, this is pretty brutal. Yeah, we're, we're I love it. pretty fucking savage, you know. I, I I will tell Diana about the throat slitting. Although I probably shouldn't, because I'll wake up and... Have your throat slit. What do you want to bet? All right. Oh no, we can't do that. Why not? Because. Because why, man? I have to repair the fucking switchblade with a meat you gotta, cleaver. You gotta repair the switchblade with a meat cleaver, man. That's, that's right. That's how we do it. And while we're at it, why don't we pull out the switchblade? Oi, oi, oi. We're in cell block B, I guess. We're in a prison with a switchblade. Yeah, fuck what? just shanking people. We're gonna fucking just flat out murder everyone. Now let's go over to the fucking warden's office. 
She's just she's just on a rampage. <laughs> They're fucking powder gangers. I just found a fucking hockey mask. Of course I'm gonna murder everyone. Remember the warden's office? Anyone else around? Those possessed by evil. Oh, good. Sir, have you heard the way? The way of what? What the fuck are you shooting me for? God damn it, you're ruining my plan! <laughs> <laughs> you ruined my plans. Guess it was nothing. Guess it was nothing. That's right, your friend's dead now, and I'm stabbing you with a fucking... I don't know where she's at. That's right, hell! I don't want to kill Eddie. Eddie's got to be the one to live. I'm killing all your friends. I don't know what to say. I can't. I can't say anything. <laughs> I'm stabbing you in the balls. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. I thought hiding would save you. I'm letting you live for a reason, you fucktard. I think they did enjoy it. Probably a little too much. No. Now, let's put on some Powder Ganger outfit. Go ahead, you can go back inside, Eddie. I'm going to find you. Eddie? No, you're not. I'm one of you now. One You're of one you. of us now. I'm yes, I find you. I joined the Powder Gangers. Why? Because <laughs> all of his friends are dead. All of my friends are dead. <laughs> Can't hide from me forever. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Well, I only stabbed it's... you fifty-three times. I've got something for you. Go inside. It'll be fun. We have games. And candy. Isn't that right, Jim? Candy. Now we're going to sit here and wait for a few days. <laughs> Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. Uh, wait, okay. I'm a friendly face. Wearing a hockey mask and a powder ganger outfit. You realize yeah. I look like an escaped felon that just stole police armor. No, no, no. Not, not, not to mention, I've been following you quite a bit. Meaning you saw me kill these people and consume their corpses. Mm-hmm. Don't follow me, you'll live longer. Okay, you're a dangerous sort, I get that. But I have some information I think you'll find useful which made me follow you for a spell. It started okay. off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. Okay. There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there, is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Okay. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. 
He's killed several people for their stars already. That's okay. What are you doing? Oh, the only humane thing I could do to Malcolm Holmes. Putting a stick of dynamite in his pants. Oh no. Look out! Oh my god! <laughs> Thanks for the warning. <laughs> I need health. <laughs> he was here. <coughs> and I'm criminally insane. <laughs> I like that, <clears throat> knowing what the actual things were, I like that some guy's killed for this. Yeah, someone's killed for this. Oh, thanks. Boom. Oh, my God. I was just killed for this, too. I'd kill for it, even knowing what it is. Compelled to slay. I got a lot of varmint rifles. Uh, hmm. Shut up. Now, where was I on my waiting? Oh, yeah, I need to wait three days. I don't remember. What did I have for breakfast? So now I'm dressed as a powder ganger. So Eddie should accept me as one you of his own. <laughs> you had powder ganger for breakfast? Yes, we had powder ganger for breakfast. <laughs> Lunch and dinner, too. Murder the genocide for breakfast. has continued. Murder for lunch. Oh, yeah. We're sobering up. <laughs> but Why? we're so hungover, we're just sitting here crouched, staring at a wall. But that sounds like fun. Why do you want to? I mean, really, who wants to play metal anyway? Exactly. I think we should all sell out, and try to get goth chicks. Like, you know, fuck. It's Wednesday. Let's see if he has forgiven us. I yeah. haven't forgiven us. Nine thirty a.m. Wednesday morning. <laughs> After murdering all the powder gangers and the base, I decided to see if Eddie was willing to talk to me. You can cut the tension with a knife. It's a good sign he's in the yellow. How's it going, sir? You like all the corpses I left you? Hey! I don't think he was very happy with us. That's okay. He just saw through my disguise too quickly. Maybe I can talk to him quicker. And then he'll employ me. Fine, we'll do it this way, Eddie. You can die now. I ripped off your arm, the fucking switchblade. How do you like that? How do you like that? I was gonna let you live, give me a mission, but no, you had to fucking, you fucking. I counted ten. Oh, you should have counted the next one. God, I, I counted like 10. That was brutal, dude. <laughs> it's all because he wanted to kill you. He wanted to kill me. I wanted to let him live so he could give me a mission, but no. He was too mad that we killed all his friends. What a baby. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> God. What kind of man gets pissed off that you murder all his friends? and family. 
I no longer need this outfit. So I'll put back on my travel raiding armor. I, I, I enjoy that kind of thinking. That kind of completely insane thinking. Yeah, really. What a baby. I mean, if someone murdered you, I'd work for them. He was. I was going to ask him for a job, but no. <laughs> I was trying to be his friend. Ah, <laughs> uh, anyway. that's funny. Oh, well, everyone's dead here, pretty much. It might be a couple stragglers. <laughs> You're trying to be his friend. I'll take your jet. What's in here? We, we, we didn't want him to have any other friends. Ooh, brass knuckles. Doing a plasma <laughs> rifle. Yeah. No we were gonna. Talking. We were gonna be his only friend. What's in your safe? It's like the evil doll that kills, you know, all its own, because, you know, you should be its only friend. You're my only friend. In the end. But then you aren't happy, so I had to put your head on a platter. No, I want the cigarettes, too. Head on a platter. What is it? Bullets. I don't know. You do know. It's a Saturday. It's Saturday. Fucking prick. Death. Ass bastards. Twenty seconds. Don't want to live. 2087 AD. Wait, they don't want to live? Well, apparently they didn't want to. They're dead now. Well, that's good that they got what they want. Hey, wait a minute. That doesn't make no sense. Oh, good. Someone cleaned up all the dead bodies. Is that you, Sheriff Myers? Good job. He wasn't very happy. And now he's fucking dead. I don't wish to murder anyone. Have you seen my blue dog? Hey guys, you respond? No! I'm stabbing the fucking... God damn it, why do you have to live again? Who the hell would populated this area? Who responded? Fucking powder gangers. They came back to this place. Why did you come back? They're zombies. I killed you before. You're dead now. <laughs> you didn't kill me. I killed me. I definitely want more dynamite, though. You don't know who killed yourself. I definitely gotta heal up, so I have to eat them. Eat the people. People everywhere are I'm simply farting. wonderful. Well, you know, you know, you know what they say, right? Our group has got twenty percent fewer cavities from eating people. That's right. Eat the people. Da 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 da. So, wait, I give a shit about your existence. I don't give a shit about your existence. I don't give a shit about your existence. You set up camp right by radiation. What the fuck? But radiation's good for the soul. It could turn you into a ghoul or a super mutant. Best friend Tabitha agrees. I understand this. But counterpoint and hear me out. I have a switchblade. My switchblade <laughs> leads repaired. What can I repair it with? That's a convincing counterpoint. I. That's a very. I. I. I I'm uh, glad that you uh, voiced your opinion so strongly. I know. However, I also. I'm going to fix the switchblade with a police baton. I don't necessarily agree with everything you. Uh, you said there. 
Okay, that, that's me just waving around my damn fucking switchblade. Yes, yes, it's it's a very con yes, yeah, okay, yes, yes. That is a very convincing argument. I don't think people should live anymore. <laughs> God, that's terrifying. <laughs> she, she's just holding. What are you doing? I don't think people should live anymore. <laughs> what? <laughs> she she waves her around. Which kind? Oh my Is god! All dude, people? Yes. If, if you could see what's going in my mind right now. <laughs> that's great. Oh my god! What are you doing? I'm stabbing scorpion. The switchblade. <laughs> <laughs> and you know the Brotherhood's got this place under lockdown. They're they're watching me. I'm yes. The Brotherhood and place. If you are a complete psycho. <laughs> yeah. I'm dressed like a complete psychopath. And you're waving a switchblade around. Yeah. That's pretty terrifying. I'll get this going. I'll just pick the lock inside the fucking Brotherhood. Well, she doesn't know they're there yet, but she Fuck will. Fuck the Brotherhood. Fuck the Brotherhood. Fuck you! Open Fuck the, the damn brother. door! Fuck the Brotherhood. Fuck the Brotherhood. Fuck you. Fuck the Brotherhood. Fuck you. And fuck the Sword Lords, too, by the way. The Sword the, Lords the, of Valhalla. The Sword Lords. There we go. Hey guys, I broke in. <laughs> she just announced it loudly to everyone. How the hell did you get in here? Normally I would have already shot you, but I'm under orders to bring you to the Elder. Will you come peacefully? Okay, fine. Okay. I'll take you to him. Follow me. Closely. Or you'll be shot. Okay. <laughs> we have a switchblade. You're wearing power armor. I'm in travel raiding armor. Hey, you stripped me naked. What the fuck? My tits are flapping around. Well, fine. I'll just start playing it myself. She rubbed her clip before she walked up to him. Your tits are How did you find us, stranger? And do tell the truth. You took an extreme risk in coming here. My policy towards trespassers has not been lenient. The security of this bunker is my foremost concern, and I take pains to minimize our exposure topside. For this reason, I might be interested in contracting with an outsider who can accomplish certain tasks, some basic, some a bit more involved. An NCR ranger has begun to set up post in one of the other bunkers up top, for example. I want him driven off. Understood? Yeah, sure. Very well. I'll be interested to see how thoroughly and efficiently you carry out your mission. Paladin Ramos will escort you back to the bunker's entrance and set you loose. Notice <laughs> that I said loose, not free. You are not free to carry the secret of this bunker's location beyond Hidden Valley. Until I'm convinced that you're capable and dependable. To underscore this point, you'll be fitted with an explosive collar. Wander off and it will detonate. Focus on your mission and you'll be fine. Asshole. Walk on the brother. Find your equipment in the chest to your right. Don't bother coming back until you've dealt with the ranger. That's like brotherhood levels of BDSM. They strip you naked. <laughs> no, I'm gonna put my hockey mask back on. And my travel raiding armor. I had a dream that your head exploded. Why won't your head explode, Jim? I have a sledgehammer, by the way. The hammer of truth. I have Ritz crackers. Who's cooler? Me. Fuck you. No, me. 
We... You want me to deal with this ranger? Where the fuck is he? He better be somewhere convenient. I have a sledgehammer. And your ass. I have such a fucking sledgehammer. Powder gangers hate me. Uh-uh. Gonna hide and sneak up on him. Yeah. I could feel them wanting my blood. Next time I see you, I'll buy you a beer. <laughs> Too sober for this shit. We need to drink more beer. And scotch. We're gonna chase a pill of beer. And some blood. The next time I see you, I'll buy you a beer. The next time I see you, I'll buy you a beer. The next time I see you, I'll buy you a beer. I just drank blood for no reason. Did, did you? Did you have to? Uh, you Mr. Ranger, to? sir, I have a present for Thought you. Thought you'd sneak up on me, you filthy powder ganger? Fuck you! Ha! <laughs> Got some claws on you, little lady. I like that. What can I do for you? Criminal scum that have infested this region, attacking caravans and regular folk just passing through. The dangerous ones are roamers, though there's another group that mostly stays put over at the prison southwest of here. So far, no, the brass don't. haven't mustered up enough men to take the prison back. Long overdue, if you ask me. But I'm just one man. Criminal scum that have infested this region. The dangerous ones are roamers. Or so they did, till NCR brass finally mustered up enough troops to take out the trash. Wish I could have been there. <laughs> okay. Now, why would I do no problem. that? You see some powder gangers on their approach or something? You've seen that with your own two eyes? God damn. I knew Cook's gang passed through these parts about that frequently, but I didn't know they hold up here. Be a rude awakening to find 15 of those merciless bastards looking down at me snoozing on my bedroll. Yep, I'd be better off setting up an ambush along one of their routes to catch stragglers. Thanks for the information. You may have saved my life. What makes you think I saved your life? I want your clothes. <laughs> oh my god, I just <laughs> killed him. <laughs> yes. You completed it peacefully. And still murdered him. <laughs> Why do you do this to me, Jim? <laughs> oh yeah, I can't fast travel because I have a bomb collar on. Why, Jim? Oh my god, really? God, I have shoes everywhere. Will you accept me, O Brotherhood of Ancients? <coughs> For I have the sledgehammer of truth, which I just used on the trooper I consumed. And you heard it all. It's like, what's that sound? <coughs> Is she? Oh my god, I think she's eating him. <laughs> I exploited his fear of powder gangers, then killed him. You heard the coming. Dear god, man, do you know what you're doing to my brain? <clears throat> <laughs> That's great, isn't it? It's poop, isn't it? You can let me inside now. I've done everything you asked. Stand back from the door. The elder's eager to hear your report. I consumed him. He will no longer be a problem. He'll no longer be a problem. How did you resolve the situation with the ranger? I consumed his flesh. How do you know he won't be missed? That other rangers won't come looking for him. Or NCR patrols. Did you just make matters worse? There was a calculated yes. risk. Asking questions would have tipped him off. 
So, you weighed the value of confirming if his location was known, against your advantage of surprise. All right. Since you completed your assigned task, I will allow you to come and go from the bunker freely. So let's get that collar off you. There, that's better, I hope. Now that we have that bit of unpleasantness out of the way, there is a matter that I would like to discuss with you. Stop by the command room when you can. Oh, and bear in mind, if you end up betraying us, we will know it. And there will be no mercy. Okay. What I wish to discuss with you can wait for once I get settled in the command room, outsider. Whatever. Okay, but I have to go pee, so I have to piss. So. We'll go piss. I gotta wait for him anyway. Okay. I'll, I will uh, see you later in a minute or whatever. Okay. In an hour. You don't know that I'm dead. Hello, sir. How are you doing? When you first showed up on our doorstep, I'll admit at first I didn't know what to think. After giving the matter some thought, however, I've decided that an outsider could be of great use to me right now. However, I will not force you to help us. Should you refuse, you will be allowed to leave here. Though no, we will be keeping an eye on you. What do you say, outsider? Are you willing to help us? Then allow me to explain our situation. This bunker is currently locked down, allowing no entry or exit, with you being one of the few exceptions. In exceptional cases, teams are sent out to investigate sites or retrieve materials deemed too important to ignore. Three such teams have gone missing recently, and the news of their disappearance has not yet been widely spread to avoid undue concern. In order to maintain the peace and adhere to the strictures of the lockdown, I need to send someone else to discover what happened to them. Yay. I'm glad I can count on you. Oh, and one other thing. The patrols each had a holotape detailing their missions that you can use to track them. The shielding of the bunker prevents us from actively tracking them, but their positions should show up on your map once you get to the surface. Should our worst fears become realized, please bring back <clears throat> all three of the holotapes from the patrols. Otherwise, bring our brothers home. I've given the order that you be given access to some of the equipment our scouts and patrols have scavenged over the years. You won't be allowed to purchase any prohibited equipment, but hopefully some of what's available will prove useful to you. Okay. That's why I like the Brotherhood. Why don't you want maniacs to have laser guns and fucking pistols so, and shit? You're the outsider that's been given leave to wander around freely. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. Name's Harden. I'm the head paladin of this chapter, and I think we might be able to help each other out. I don't know what the Elder talked to you about, but I can tell you this chapter is in trouble, and he's at the center of it. Are you willing to listen to what I have to say? Okay, whatever. As you may have already heard, this entire base is under a state of lockdown. No one goes out except small patrols at night. Most of the chapter has been sealed in here for years. And those few who are outside when the lockdown was initiated are forbidden from returning. Morale has plummeted as time has gone by. And many of our current paladins haven't seen combat outside of training simulations. And all because of the Elder's explicit order that no one be allowed in or out. The only way things will change is if a new Elder is installed. Okay. I don't know. The people who are most likely to know how it could be done are also some of McNamara's strongest supporters. So they refuse to help me, which is why we're having this conversation. An outsider such as yourself would arouse less suspicion asking questions about such matters. The fact that the Elder has some tasks for you means his faithful won't suspect you, and you have a line open to the man himself. In short, you're in a perfect position to help me. You're Will you short? at least think about it? That'll have to do. I'd recommend going to see Ramos first. As head of security, he's more familiar with our protocols than anyone else here. You could also try to find something relevant in our data store, though last I heard Scribe Ibsen is having a bit of a problem accessing it. And if McNamara should give you any tasks, I'd ask that you kept me abreast of them. Report anything you find to me, and we'll move from there. Okay, you want me to usurp the government?
Look, this isn't a great time. Oh, what the hell? It's not like we're making any progress. I'm Ibsen, and I hope your day is going better than mine is. It yeah, is. I'm in charge of keeping this data system up and running, but accessing it is a little uh, touch and go at the moment. Ah. Uh. I could use some assistance, sure, but. Yeah, some pre war jackass with too much time on his hands apparently decided to inflict his misery on those around him. It's scrambling all the terminals here at the moment. Luckily, we only use this section for storing historical data. I suppose it couldn't hurt to get another pair of eyes on this. Maybe you'll be able to come up with something coming at it fresh. While the entire system is infected, the virus itself is spread across three terminals. The problem is that it keeps moving periodically. We'll have it nailed down in a terminal or two, only to have it jump to another set of terminals before we locate the third. Are you stupid? Just partition the virus. Then you can slay it. What? No, that... That's brilliant. It would let us seal a portion of the virus to a particular uh. terminal, even when the other parts move. Best of luck to you. I'll tell the others to take a break so they don't get in your way. Oh, and I'll keep track of when it jumps for you. To maximize your chances, wait for my signal before you begin. Okay, we can do this. I like guitars. Mm -hmm. Evening. Fuck off. <laughs> the virus just jumped. Find which terminals it went to. I'm eating sunflower seeds. I need you need to know that because they're very good. Fetuses. That's it. We got it. The virus has been purged. Good. We can do this now. The virus has been purged. The bunker takes a little getting used to, doesn't it? Oh, where'd that fucker go to? You actually did it. If you don't mind my saying so, I didn't think you had a chance in hell of pulling it off. But I'm glad to be wrong for once. Thank you, my friend. Please feel free to access the data store at your leisure. I'm only allowed to give you access to non-classified topics, but it's better than nothing, right? Bye. You changed your voice. That was good. Anyway. Whoa, wait. I thought that was just me. <laughs> it happens from time to time in this game. Well, why don't you change your voice? Because I am God. I thought you were dog. And I have a sledgehammer. Your presence here, let's just say it's highly irregular. Outsiders aren't even allowed to know that our bunker's here let alone come and go freely. You impressed Elder McNamara, obviously. He must believe that you'd be very useful. Yeah, sure. He liked, liked the fact I took a sledgehammer to someone's skull and consumed their flesh. Well, so you know, the hammer of the hard, gods. Nate. He's been looking for a way to use Sir McNamara ever since the lockdown started. Don't get me wrong. He's a good man. But Elder McNamara has done all right by us. If it weren't for him, none of us would have survived at Helios. I'll tell you what I told Harden. There have been only a few cases of elders being dismissed from their posts in the Brotherhood's history. And those involve crimes that someone like Elder McNamara is just not capable of. You can look it up for yourself if you want. I'll grant you access to that portion of the history section of our data store. See Senior Scribe Ibsen about accessing it. I want to know what he's done, because he's definitely done something. I know it. Bye. I know he's done something. Everyone has done something. All right, fine. Oh, you're naked. Hi. Your cock's dangling about. That's good How to know. How may I assist you? Oh, while we're here. Hey.
Hey, how's it going? How may I assist you? I stole your key. The word came down from the Elder that I'm to offer you some of our lesser wares. As if I didn't have other matters on my mind. If you must know, my inventory check this week shows that our weapon count is one short. Somehow we're missing a laser pistol. Harden will have my head if I don't find that weapon soon. I can't delay my report to him any longer. If you happen to find it, bring it here right away. I might be able to throw a few supplies your way if you do. Okay. Have your head. I want you to be hey. beheaded. Welcome to the range. Feel free to use any open lane. Torres must be getting desperate if she's accepting help on this one. I'll tell you what I told her. My records show that Initiate Stanton was the last to check it out, but checked it back in a day later. Bye. Okay, I'll take care of that. Oh, while well, I'm here, I'll sell Stanton, some of this shit Stanton I'm not gonna use. Die. Have you found it? I need to give my report to Hardin soon. I know. Then we have nothing further to talk about. Our well. patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. Oh, good, you have money. That's what I need. Uh, let's see. What can I sell you? Leather armor. Powder ganger armor. A ranger hat. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, you can have a couple 9mm pistols. Some long fuse dynamite. I don't care about that. It's crazy, Eddie. A single shotgun. No, you cannot have my switchblade. Oh wait, sorry. It's crazy, Louie. That's or is it crazy, Eddie? It's crazy, Eddie. Crazy Louie was my, the guy I knew. I know. I love that story. It's so fucking funny. You have all my. 22 rounds, too, because I don't use 22s. I mean, what a legend. Give me a shot if you need anything else. Bye. Fine, I'll give you a shot if I need anything else. And you were the good influence on him. Hey. I know. That's hilarious. Yes, can I help you? Oh, man. I told Watkins this wasn't going to work. Look, Watkins and I snuck out one day. She said it'd be a training exercise. Said she heard from a guy on one of the patrols that there was a gulch just southeast of here with scorpions in it, and that we had to check it out. There were scorpions out there, all right. We started using them for target practice. Before we knew it, damn things were all around us. So we made a run for it. And in all the commotion, I dropped my pistol. Watkins keeps urging me to go back and get it, but that's not going to happen. You can go outside, though, can't you? You can return the pistol to Torres and clear this whole thing up for me. Great. When you find it, just turn it into Torres and I'll be in the clear. Okay, fine. I'll do this for you. But only because Titty Kaka in Nicaragua. Why? Teacock in Nicaragua. Hell may I assist that you? I have to use your damn co get the fuck give me a computer, I gotta hack it. Llama get Llama get Fuck you guys. Fuck brotherhood always getting in my way. Yeah, I'm only doing this because I want to usurp power. <sighs> Usurping power is hilarious. That's how you get to llama school. Mm -hmm. The boring part of the game. Dealing with the Brotherhood. Hello, Outsider. Oh, hey there. Something I can help you with? That's an old, old principle that's been around since the Brotherhood was founded. It basically means that you have to obey a superior officer. It's pretty much common sense, but it gets invoked a lot when people get pissy about following orders. If you're curious, I'll give you access to the data store entry on it. You'd probably be the first to read it in years, if not decades. Cool. Later. 
No one ever reads it, but they all know what it is. Hmm. Must be forbidden knowledge. And now I can tell everyone on the outside all of your I'm inner secrets. Yep, I'm gonna tell everyone you exist. Maniac on drugs is a maniac on drugs. Hooray. You can't give orders to your subordinate subordinate. We hope you enjoyed life, but more importantly, we hope you enjoyed death. By the way, while I'm here, do 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 let's see behind you. Why is why is death so fun? Don't ask me why. But Still I want to ask you card. why. No one's watching. I'll just take this armor and plasma weapon. You are the poop. Super sledge. You can keep that shit. I don't need it. This is your ass. And I'm in it. Hey, how's it going, Pot and Harden? What is it, Outsider? <laughs> Have you discovered anything? I could hardly call myself Head Paladin if I didn't. It's one of the first things every initiate learns when they start training. What about it? Don't poop with the bed. I could be wrong, but I think that's a dead end. McNamara's always followed orders, and we've been incommunicado since fleeing Helios. Second part, what are you talking about? That is the standard procedure, yes. For example, McNamara gives orders to head scribe Taggart, who then relays further orders to the scribes. I wasn't aware that failing to do so was punishable, however. Interesting. If we can just find an instance where McNamara went around someone and gave orders to their subordinates, we'll have him. Yes, I know the loss of the patrols has weighed heavily on his mind for some time. He took it very personally when they first went missing. That was when I first began to seriously question his ability to lead us. A commander has to be able to deal with the potential loss of his men. It's strange that he would ask you to find mission disks on them, however. The missing paladins were all on standard patrols, which don't need them. Only brothers sent on special assignments are given mission disks. If you should find any on the lost patrols, let me know. Bye. Okay, we can leave now. You had to rub the Hello. Hello, I need your plasma pistol. I sodomized a monkey. For five dollars a day, you too Why are you can blue? sodomize a monkey. Blues, Jews, blues, Jews. Enjoy usurping government. Usurping the government is fun. They let us into the Brotherhood after eating people. The Brotherhood of Evil, bitch. That's right. <sighs> Fucking bitches. Look, I have a sledgehammer. Where are you? There you are. Die. Did I say oh. you could exist ever in all eternity? No. 
Oh, look, it's a giant one. And now it's dead. Your glandular processes are here. Who wants to die next? You? Fucking poison me! I kill you! I kill you all! Yes, I know I'm invading your home. I say you were a permitted existence. Really? Is something else after me? What else is after me? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> this place is called Scorpion Gulch for a reason, apparently. What the fuck? How did you see me? Die! <laughs> God damn it, I'm done being drunk. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Just to get drunk, that's when she's not a retard. <laughs> that was that was thinking on my part. Find a wastelander to eat the pukes. Oh yeah, star these... bottle cap too. Good. Why do these people think they can live? Why does anything think it can live? Who else wants to die? All of you? Okay. She's only having fun when she's killing. Maggot stop. Maggot stop. Fuck you! What else thinks it should live, huh? No one. I Good. think everyone's you agree convinced. With me. I think everyone's convinced that it should die. Yes. You make a persuasive argument. What the fuck's coming to him? You! Did I say existence was for you? I have a sledgehammer. A sledgehammer? Yes. Sledgehammer in the asshole. Yeah. Everyone should have a sledgehammer up the ass. Being irradiated to hell is really fun. Yes, I know. Do you actually know, Jim? I don't think you do. You know what I think you are? The dump. The sledgehammer. <laughs> sledgehammer of truth and justice. I can't hurt any of you. You're too cute. What are they? Centaurs. Like Mo. Aww. In fact, one Mo. of them was Mo. Aww. Mo the centaur. Everyone loves Mo. That was just a fucking rad scorpion. Everyone loves Mo. I need a base of operations. Oh, lovely. The only safe place I got is fucking Good Springs. Oh, the centaur? And what's Mo doing? Best friend, Tabitha. Mm hmm. I'm gonna have to drop off some of my goods. I'm carrying way too much. 
are carrying a butthole ass. Mm -hmm. I like buying a thousand T Rexes. We will do that. Just imagine someone carrying around. Oh. I think Jesus fucked Bob like 2,000 T Rexes. Because they just don't know it. Mm-hmm. All oh, right, I have an even better one. Oh, I can drop off three of these. Everyone loves to eat my asshole. Well, let's go visit Chet real quick. Nobody likes you. This will why be fun. did you Why did you not kill the hamster with evil? You're fucking sleeping on me, god to get the fuck up. Get the fuck up. Hey. You're supposed to be awake when I wanna do business. You looking to buy some supplies? Can do. God damn it. She has massive anger issues. <laughs> massive no God. <laughs> She's looking to kill someone, just... Fine, you have my tire iron. But you're not taking my switchblade. Take my normal sledgehammer, though, because I have a super sledge. Super sledge, super sledge, super, super, super sledge, super sledge, super sledge. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Shut Take it up. easy now. Now get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> Wait, you came here. <laughs> Just a ball of rage. <laughs> I know, it's great. <sighs> May as well return this fucking pistol they wanted. They wanted it so badly, God. I oh, you got your sandstorm going. Okay, whatever. I don't give a shit. You know what I want? Huh? A, a pie. P.I.E. Fuck your god. God damn, my beer is worn off. What the my fuck beer. is wrong with life? Fine, I'll drink a wine. She's pissed off when she's sober. <laughs> she's pissed off when she's drunk. She's just rage. Just pure rage. Look, does it look like I like you at all? No. No, it doesn't. Who does she like? Anyone? She let no. Good Springs live. She yeah, killed her. all the powder gangers. Yeah, they let her kill people. Have you found it? She's I need to give my somewhere. report to Hardin soon. Oh, thank God. Hardin was about to start an inquiry into the whole affair, and more than a few heads would have rolled as a result. Since you helped me, I'll tell you what. I work on some of our busted weapons in my spare time, so I have a few pieces that are kept off the books. Here, take this. I hope it comes in handy. Oh, thank you. Bye. Thanks. Now we're gonna break into your little store there and steal everything you own. While you're staring out the window. Vacantly. Uh huh. Because they Waiting for people to hand. buy shit off you. It's great. And then you start worshipping the sun. But the sun is actually some random girl from Arizona. Stealing some ammo, a stealth boy. Love it when I find a stealth boy. Why do you want to? You might need a stealth boy. 
I remember remember when we assassinated the president with the laser? The fun laser of happiness. Wasn't that joy. fun? That was the world's greatest day. With the day. laser. Sacrifice. Oh, we found missiles. Yeah. Another stealth boy, I'll take that. 200 years later. There we go. I've stolen everything that's worth stealing here. Wait a minute, what happened to all my supplies? <laughs> <Oops>. <laughs> Sorry, you're worshipping the sun. I worship the sun. Hey. 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 Murder? Murder. Why don't they ever tell me when they're going to eat people? Can I usurp the government now? Please tell yes. me I can usurp the government now. That'd be awesome. Can I rape the government now? Please tell me I can rape the government now. Rape the government? Okay. Rape the government. Rape the government for everyone. Rape the government. There's a time to fuck and a time to pray. But the Shaw sleeps in Lee Harvey's grave. What is There's it? A time outside? for drugs. Have you discovered it? Time if you must. I could hardly. You're all Second. dead. What did you have in mind? Later. No, I can't usurp the government yet. God damn, I gotta find all three hollow tapes. You've gotta usurp the government. Uh huh. And then you've gotta piss on the government. After you've usurped it. <clears throat> Taking a shit on the White House lawn. <laughs> Taking a shit on the White House lawn. I mean, <laughs> you, you've got it, right? I mean, yeah. we got to. It's part of fine tradition that makes you a complete fucking moron, Jim. Uh -huh. You are the degenerate. She's depressed that she's no longer wearing a slave collar. Don't give me ideas. Alright, where the fuck am I going here? Yay, willing slave. Okay, we'll go down the road here until I find the Potter Ganger camp. Because I need some food. Hey guys! How's it going? You're Potter Gangers, right? Are they? You know what I like about Potter Gangers? What? They're crunchy and go well with fucking ketchup. Hey! <laughs> Come on! Fucking heck! Die! Did I say you could live? I don't think you said that they can live. I don't remember Ooh, that, at least. Now to heal up some of my health. Why do they think they can live? Why do they think they can live? Ho ho! All right, I like I'm over encumbered. You're a little dumb, is what you are. You're a little recumbent. Fine, I'll go back to Doc Mitchell. And I drop off all this power more. armor I stole. I only have five oh my god, I'm seconds. sobering up. Well, you shouldn't sober up. Alright, I drank another bottle of wine all to myself. So I try to drop off this damn power armor. Give me that buffalo gourd. God damn it. That's 
anyone have any idea what the fuck is going on here? Hey, Doc Mitch, I'm coming in. Good God, man. <laughs> She's like, just... A complete... <laughs> hopelessly violent psycho. I know. She just wants to kill everyone. The only way you can ever gain her trust is if you let her kill someone. Even then, it's debatable. She might decide to kill you instead. Yep. I got me some that's... rad scorp glands. Mm -hmm. Oh, I only have five more weed gummies. See, I can count. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. The Potter Ganger Camp West. Got ya. Can you count? No. Good. That means you're intelligent. I know, right? Only the dumb can count. Can fucking you stupid car. Count? Why do you even fucking exist? Wow. <clears throat> you're dead now. Of course, you died the day of the war, but I don't care. I killed you again. That counts. She's, she's, you know what, I think she needs some weed, man. I think she's just fucking completely stark ravingly psychotic. And no one should ever know. That's true, but she needs some weed. You can't be that psychotic on weed, man. Yeah, you can. Just add I water. I can't. What the fuck is trying to kill me? Me. A rad roach? You know, I'm trying to kill you, Jim. I have the blasphemy. Fuck you. I am the blasphemy. Look, there's a car here. And there's an NCR flag. Right down the road here. So they I keep running down the road. And poop and eat and eat and poop all day and night. What the fuck? Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. It's your ass. Don't say you weren't warned. Do you want to die? <laughs> wow. That's, um... That's using your ass right there. That is using your ass, Jim. Mm-hmm. That's it's great. Everything's great. Everything is wonderfully evil. evil. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Yeah, I'm not going quietly either. Let's see what I can do to you. That's not going quietly. God, I hope she never gets pregnant. Imagine the kid this chick would have. <laughs> it's eating. I'll take these landmines. Take that one. Cut off on three landmines. Imagine the death and desolation. Imagine that this car. Causing everything. Fucking and car! Everything. Jesus, hey, Christ. everyone to explode. There's a flaming barrel up here, too. I want fuck. Hey, what the fuck? What the? What the? Did I say you could live? Jesus Christ. There went your face, the super sledge. Now then, where was I? I. going to hell? I'll take all your shit. I'll sell it. Why are you so, like, mad at everything? Because it exists. That's a good point, yo. You had a hundred bucks on you and didn't 
give it you shot at me instead of fuck just giving it to me. Fuck you. Whoa. Hey look, I found one of my co-workers. Killing people is a real downer, man. He's already and that's dead. Why I love it. Uh, He's already Daniel would have wanted it this way. Who's Daniel? The corpse I'm eating. Ah. Uh, and I took his he, orders. I don't think he would have wanted it. Hello, Mr. New Vegas. You stay here. They want to eat lots of pussy. Alright, now then, where were we? We're running in here. Who wants to be a random victim? Oh, I see a volunteer. You do. That's right. You do. Fucking bullshit. What the what the fuck? Come on. You think shooting me is gonna help you? If you really think shooting me is gonna help you, fucking don't set me a fucking fire, you useless sack of. God damn it, come back here. Where are you? Had enough? I don't give a shit. You've had enough. <laughs> oh, man. Life. This is, is the like price a... of setting me on fire. Life is like masturbation. It smells bad and then you die. When was the last time you masturbated? Because fuck, I haven't died yet. I don't know what I what I don't know what you uh -oh. just said or what I just said. Or masturbation There's smells someone bad. Coming in my way. I think I think you actually. Is that have another died? random person coming my way. Jim, I'm sorry, but you 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 are, you are actually dead. This is all just one psychotic delusion. You fucking useless sack of fucking human filth. And only I unlock the truth that we all just exist. Now where were we? Mind. How the hell did I get radiation poison from eating corpses? Oh my god, I know the truth, man. You are More existence. You are existence. Everything in this world was just a, created when you accidentally ate a bad squash. I know, right? I gotta repair my cleaver now. And your your poison and all of existence is your dying dream. Another police baton repaired with cleavers? All I have to say is this is a shit dying dream. Why didn't you have... I mean, you'd think your imagination would be, like, a little bit more advanced than this, but I know. whatever. Where the now hell then, my hover where was I eating people? God damn it, I'm sober again! Where the hell are my hovercrafts? Give me your goddamn fucking shit. Your bloody chunks on the floor now. Well, at least I understand the meaning of life. Now then, where are the other corpses? So I may consume and rob them. The, the meaning of life is to murder you for making such a shit existence. I know, right? <laughs> I mean, where, where are my laser eyes, man? I want laser eyes. Wait. Well. I found one. Well, your imagination apparently doesn't want us to have laser eyes. Too bad. Alright. 
I am God. I am God. I am. I am. I am God. I am God. I am God. I am. I am. I am God. But your existence, so how can I be God? I'm the existence of all. All because you ate a bad piece of squash and are dying. I know. Right? But even after your body, you know, in this reality dies, your dying dream will continue throughout billions of years. Okay. Dude, you need to take a chill pill, man. <laughs> Fuck chill pills. Fuck off, man. I will, you, you know what, Jim? I will come over and I will yell at you for five seconds. That's what's setting me on fire. Dude. I like the homicidal rage. It's so awesome. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. The town's gone to hell. Okay. Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Oh, you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over, but we couldn't turn down the caps. Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. Don't go getting yourself shot. I don't want don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. If I want to get down, shot, I'll be shot. Calm down. Take more drugs. Right, more drugs. Uh, uh, let's see, what do we have here? I'll eat some squirrel stew. <laughs> She's just <laughs> off at him. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> She'd probably eat her partner after sex. And eating mentats. I'm smart. It's I'm so, so goddamn up. smart. Look at me, I'm the smartest. I'm beating up a garbage can. What? You still have shit on you? <laughs> Suppose you came here to rescue me. Everything. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are not. Must be great cons. I recognize Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I've heard. I'm in a bit of a so predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. I wouldn't mind a suit like that. 
I must talk say it's been the lowest point morning. of my career in law enforcement. The, the powder ganger stole into town at I night I and murdered my sister to, and her husband, the, the sheriff, in bed while here. I was sleeping Serve in the office. Protect. I watched them oh for a bit, waiting for the spotted. right moment to pounce and arrest a lot of them, taking careful notes as I watched. To my dismay, they found me while I waited in the shadows and brought me here. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. What a coward. Oh, why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help, but without it. You lead the way. Hey. What a coward. I'm eating these fridges before we leave. Ooh, absinthe. Exit 13. Oh, no, it was just an atomic cocktail. But I'll drink Exit it. 13. I like pooping my pants. I'm so fucking drunk right now. <sighs> and s still pissed off. What the fuck is up with this wall? <laughs> and tripping on men cats. <laughs> this is the action of intelligent mind. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. Oh, yeah, fucking NCR. You will. That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Fuck you. Calm down. Calm down. Don't tell me about no NCR bullshit. She puts the psycho in psycho pitch. <laughs> what does she hate? Everything. Now the question is, was she like that before she got shot in the head? Yes. Oh. Oh, I'm in Dexter B. Bagel's residence. Okay, fine. I'll steal your fucking food. You don't deserve to eat any more, Beagle, okay? I'm gonna open your gun case, because you don't deserve any weapons, either. Cowards suck. There, you can have the empty shell casings. <laughs> ah, your food. Can't have a har What the f- You shouldn't have a fucking harmonica. You can't have fun. Oh, good. Stole your booze. Good. Death on the avenue of hell, 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 hell. Maniac on drugs. Okay, that was Deputy Beagle's residence. It was Deputy Beagle's residence. There's a car in front of the sheriff's house. It pisses me off. How does he get a car? <laughs> Hello? Oh, good. Dead bodies. Just jump on their bed real quick. Oh, good. I don't Mrs. McBain's corpse. I don't think she has anger issues. She has just an anger issue. <laughs> A singular anger issue. Which is just pure seething rage. <laughs> Sheriff McBain. She was brought to this world to destroy. <laughs> She only knows one thing. Uh, Cannibalism. Uh, Alright, what the fuck else is here? I thought there was something else here. Uh, I'll take your cowboy repeater. What the hell's in your cabinet? 
I'll take Drugs. a tire iron. I'll use your tire iron. I'm gonna use a baseball bat to repair my sledgehammer. That makes perfect sense. I don't care if you don't know how it makes sense. It makes sense. I'm using a tire iron to fix the damn straight razor. I would fix your brain with a mallet. I have already fixed people's brains with this. What the, what the fuck did you have money in here? Not give it to me. I don't care if you're dead. Hand me money. <laughs> Let's get going. What if that guy who was following us was still following us? If he hadn't died, he just sees this. What the fuck are you doing, dude? I don't know anymore. Did I eat this guy? Uh, yeah, I did. Okay, he was consumed. Holy shit, man. Okay. It's fine. Didn't know on anyone would willingly walk into this place. Not unless they were looking for trouble. What's your story? Lots of time. Sheriff, believe it or not. For a small town far to the west of here. Short version is that sometimes justice is a little slow. And I helped speed it up one too many times. I'm not sorry for anything I did, but I will do the time. Fair enough trade if you ask me. Assuming an NCR pardon comes with the job, and it had better. I also need to be able to do things my own way. Due process has its place. But sometimes it's just a waste of time. I'll need yep. to know that I'm not going to end up right back in prison. All right, then. Guess I'll just make a quiet exit. No need for a goodbye party or anything. The other one here is dead, so yeah, there's no party to be had. I, I agree. I mean, who needs justice or due process? Just kill them on the spot. Accuse them of a crime and kill them. I mean, that's what I do. Jim, you're accused of grand theft murder. I'm murder bait. You're gonna murder bait on the bus. You're gonna murder oh bait. God, on I got the sober bus. again. The fuck is wrong with these people? Doing beer. Drinking doesn't calm her down. <laughs> or it doesn't piss her off. It just is. But she needs to be drunk constantly. Feed on the death brigade. All right. So who's next on my chopping block list? Death no, brigade? we haven't done it in a while. I've been using a sledgehammer a while. Marijuana. Marijuana. Uh, up against the wall, motherfucker. You are a horror. And I hope you know that you're a whore. I'm a whore, W-H-O-R-E. I am a beast. Alright, who wants to have their existence erased first? Existence? Yes. What's that? I don't know. These people are going to find out what it's like to not have one. <coughs> I don't know what existence is. We're going to find out what it's like to not have one. I don't have existence. Oh, good. Don't you care to tell me what one plus one is? How about seven plus seven? Fourteen. Here, have a stick of dynamite. What the fuck? Well, it just happened. I just exploded people. What the fuck? Why do you say it all slow? Cause they were dumb. Who the fuck's shooting? 
What the fuck is shooting me? I'm just firing You're randomly shooting. about. Wait a minute. So if you're the same... Okay, here's a new corpse. Eat the corpse. Eat the corpse. Eat the corpse and meet the corpse. Let's meet the meat. Now then, who the fuck thought they had a gun? Who's mean to you? Who thought they had a gun that they could shoot without telling me that they wanted to die? That wasn't nice. That was mean. Just murder the people who want to murder you, you know. That wasn't very nice. <laughs> Unstoppable killing machine. Well, those people are dead. Aww. <coughs> All they wanted was to eat you. No, I wanted to eat them. Oh uh, yeah, good point. I like the poop in the butt. I want to sell some human remains. <laughs> I'm going to have to crash out soon. Ugh. Okay, but now we'll have this game to go back to. And it'll be fun. Poop on poop in your butthole? God damn it, I stopped being high. I'm still drunk, just no longer high. I'm I'm not high, I'm completely sober. Watch me count to ten. One, two, three, three, five, seven. Fight, elephant, Tommy gun. See? Totally sober. Yeah, I know. Like the sword in the evil. The evil sword of evil. Do you like the sword of evil? It is the sword of evil. Which is evil. Ooh, man. We have to put Myers in charge. <laughs> You should Fuck be ashamed. Due process. Everyone's guilty. Death by having a stick of dynamite shoved up your ass. That sounds painful. It better be. You're going to die. Why did you nuke the whole city? Because I'm Batman. I thought you liked faces. Faces are tasty. <laughs> Why did you nuke the city tonight? There's the two statues shaking hands again. Amid all the cars that wrecked trying to make it to the border. Poor cars. Yes, but that was 200 years ago. Yes, but still, poor cars. Oh yeah, you're the oil wasteland perk, huh? That's a fun little perk. Yeah. Even. What do you mean, Kilborn? I will not exploder feed you today. Exploder? Ejaculator? Ejaculator, part two. <laughs> Whoa. New face in the outpost. Must have come from the north. So, what do you have? Mm. Take a look. Fine, you're gonna be that kind of bitch. So I'm just here to sell you all kinds of random crap. Me. 
Why aren't you selling yourself into horseship? Horseship of the universe. I'm the horseship of the universe, and I like to eat. I hope you, you enjoy know. 22 pistols. Quiet, you. I'm doing a thing. Next time I see you, I'll buy you a beer. Here, have yourself a varmint rifle or two. Okay, and then we're gonna sell all this fucking water armor. Mercenary shit. I don't need your damn cowboy hat or your sheriff duster. Don't be like Jim Kids. Two egg timers? How the fuck did I get an egg timer? Not the blast for me. Fine then. Uh, Alright, let's put Meyer in charge, then I gotta crash out. I'm mm -hmm. getting exhausted. Okay. We'll get Meyer in charge. Caravan, citizen, pilgrim, or. Just need something for the logbook, keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost. Although mostly just in, not out these days. If you're looking for the commanding officer, he's in the back. Although, he's got a lot on his plate, so if you speak with him, keep it short. Also, if you need any gear checked, we can get you up and running again. Once you fill out the work orders and sign for the parts, of course. Prim. These ah, units are stationed up there. We're having problems with some of the NCRCF convicts. What can I help you with? One of the powder gangers? They've been nothing but trouble for us. Why would we want one of them anywhere in an official capacity? Hmm. All right. If his sentence was closing up, I can see about getting him pardoned. Prim is important to our trade up from California, so having someone there owes us a favor. That couldn't hurt. <sighs> Goodbye. Whoop-de-doo. whoop de doo Or whatever. What are emotions and how can I destroy yeah. all of you? How you doing there, Myers? I'm gonna sit right here. Have a nice little chat with you. Wow. Thanks for getting me that pardon. Me and the boys will take good care of Prim. Don't you worry. Good. Watch yourself out there. We will not. <sighs> this is the way we should leave it. This is the way we should murder everyone. It's been fun. Oh, yeah. We'll have more fun later. Cool. Alright. Let me know when. Shall do.